Oh, look who's here, Boots a Cat. <laughs> oh yeah. Give him some perfectly fish. No carbon C60, but he seems to be walking around all fours. Johnny Hill Camino. And uh, I didn't put a camshaft in there yet, didn't start working on it because I've been having some torrential downpours and it's in a car, under a carport, but the wind was blowing like really hard. And I was glad, uh, glad I put, um, glad I put that flag up, the smaller one, because there's been some serious winds out here. It's not that small. Anyway. But, <laughs> there you go. Here we go. There we go. He was chasing somebody else. I saw him last night. He was out on near the road. He was chasing some other cat away. Here. Here's Snooky. Now, wait a minute. God damn. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Couldn't get at it. It was moving. The ball was moving. The other one's, uh, the other ball is, uh, taped to the freaking hood, so. Ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, some people have asked me how I'm moving. I'll tell you one thing. The biggest problem I have with moving out of here is not so much the stuff I got. It's all the cats. It's like, that's why I was start thinking about possibly have, what I'm thinking is, so maybe the, I'm going to keep that property up in Tennessee, but I might do is um, just get the whole place all done, either in Tennessee near the Georgia border, or in North Georgia near the Tennessee North Carolina, probably near the North Carolina uh, Tennessee border, near I-75 because it would be fast to get to, because I can make a bunch of back and forth trips in the same day, still leave my cats here. And, uh, you know, get my stuff up there. In other words, get a place with a few acres or at least an acre and have it all ready and start bringing crap up there. And then once it's up there, um, you know, I'm all set to freaking stay up there permanent, right? In other words, it might be 12 hours round trip or something. So maybe 11 hours round trip or something like that. I'm not sure exactly, but... Uh, that wouldn't be, you know, I could do that in a day. So, if I left at, I don't know, 8 o'clock in the morning, I could be back, you know, unload the crap, be back here 8 o'clock in the evening. So, I can leave the cats for the day, you know, and it wouldn't freaking hurt them so much there, you know. Leave them plenty of food and water. Actually, I leave them big pails of water in here. So, I can make some trips and, you know, stage my stuff up there. Um... Because if I do one in Tennessee, that'd be a 10-hour trip, and that'd be two days, and I can't leave my cats here. That's my big problem. Uh, so let's see how this works out. But I gotta get I gotta get all my stuff ready in line. I want to get the El Camino all set up real good. I want to put the HHO in the El Camino. Then I get a five by eight enclosed trailer, and you know get the place. You know probably just cash the whole damn thing, and uh, you know. I'll be all set. <laughs> but Florida's not as screwed up as like living in New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, um, I don't know, even Rhode Island. <laughs> not as bad as Illinois. Um, so it's not like it's the worst place in the world for sure. I mean, it's definitely one of the better places to live in better states, but I just see the writing on a world wall that I don't think I want to stay here long term because it's getting so crowded. There's so many people coming down here. They're bringing their crazy attitudes with them. And I said, I don't think I want to stay here. Because it's eventually might change. Because I think that's what happened to California. California was great. Um, California basically has people from everywhere else. And that's kind of like what's going on with Florida. There's not too many native-born Floridians. I'm not a native-born Floridian, but I'm a very much a freedom-loving type person. Hey, guy, here, eat your food here. <laughs> he likes to fish. Knocks it out of his plate. But um, 
that's I think that's how California got worse because you know the outside people coming in and really I don't know it's just I don't know people want everything without having to do something for it you know they want the government to give it to them and shit and more of those kind of people we get more more screwed up shit's gonna get so like Florida's not like that yet but it could get like that so I don't want to be here 10 years from now so but you know but I want to plan it out so it won't be such a bad move. I know when I came down here, man, I made like 12 trips down this way. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> 12 trips down here with the El Camino. He's, he's kind of limping a little bit still. What are you doing, guy? Hmm? Yeah. Maybe limping a little. Maybe not. So... And this guy's doing okay though. He's my little buddy. <laughs> I see his tail over there. Hey, tail. Hopping along. Now he's, now he's walking on floor floors. He's doing alright. And uh, you see my flag up there. Still doing okay. Even with all the wind. That's why I'm glad I didn't put to keep that 5x8. I don't know if that, well, obviously that pole handles. You know, I think the pole might have handled the 5x8 too, because it's steel, but it is to be on the safe side. You know. <laughs> Ain't bad. Ain't bad. 